Good afternoon everyone on YouTube. So today I have another little gadget that I'd like to show off. Um, as some of you know on the OzNZ forums I've been doing some coding with the uh, the G25 shifter which is also compatible with the G27. Slight pinout different but nothing that will ruin any experience. Um, and a lot of you will know this, the little Arduino Leonardo. This thing is absolutely sensational. So what I've done, as you'll be able to see here, I've connected my G25 shifter, which is, there you go, plugged into here, um, plugged into the Arduino. So I have updated my code to uh, now be compatible with the G25 shifter. And if I move the, um, move the shifter, you'll be able to see, actually I'll have to select that screen because it doesn't update unless it's selected. There you go. If I select first gear, I actually get first gear. Second, third, fourth, in fourth position. In fifth position, sixth, and of course reverse gets seventh. So um, you don't have to worry about these jittering around a bit. I haven't actually calibrated the analog axes. I'm using them purely for uh, setting the buttons according to the gear. Um, all of the buttons are also assignable, so these all come up as the lower half of the buttons, yes, and they all just work as per normal. You'll notice they can all be pushed simultaneously as well, that's kind of cool. And um, we now have a console debugging, which is probably hard to focus on. Um, yeah, so it's looking pretty good. It actually completely works. Sequential mode, I'll just push that down and one-handed try and select sequential. There you go. Sequential mode activated. Push, 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 push. And you'll be able to see these are now actually just mappable to button one and two. So that's fine. It works exactly like it would on, on your standard G25, but it's now completely compatible. Standalone, running off the, uh, essentially the core of the Super G box and the Opi box. So, um, Nice and easy. Okay, so that just um, is to prove that proof of concept. If you want to keep your G25 shifter and you want to run it standalone and upgrade to a new steering wheel somewhat in the future, uh, you don't have to give up your steering wheel uh, and your shifter together. You can keep this and upgrade this to something completely new. So, um, anyway. Just a quick video demonstrating that the G25, G27 shifter will work standalone and um, it's purely compatible. So with that I'll move on to the next thing which is launch control. So you'll click for the next video. Righto, thank you, see you later.